Stereophonic reproduction offers us the most natural and satisfying way of listening to recorded sound. Hello folks and welcome to NetCruiser Tech. Today we're going to talk about a Bluetooth speaker by the company DOS. This is called the Soundbox Pro. And it's a Bluetooth speaker with a dual driver design. It does have an extra bass button. It is splash proof. Uh, it does do Bluetooth pairing with multiple speakers uh, to allow a stereo effect. So we'll talk about that and test that out. Uh, it does have a light. So this lighted ring actually changes different colors. It is a Bluetooth speaker and it gets 12 hours worth of battery life. So yeah, instead of the typical unboxing, I've actually already had it and I've tested it out a little bit, but I want to show you some of what it's like. So this is the gray one. I got to say the fit and finish and quality of it is really good. <clears throat> I have been trying it for a little bit. I've been sick for quite, quite a while where I haven't been able to do a voice on camera or even really do anything much, but I have tested it a little bit on my own and I do like the sound that comes out of it. Buttons that you get on it uh, is a power button, extra bass, you get volume up, volume down, play, pause, mode, and add. And add is so that you can add another one of these and get it into a stereo system. So you could have two of them hooked up in stereo. That's pretty cool. Also, yeah, bonus feature. You can use it vertically as well, which is awesome. It's got a uh, like a rubber based uh, material. It's like a soft touch plastic. So it's called the Soundbox Pro. It has a 2200 milliamp hour battery, uses five volts, two amp as USB charge input. Output power is 10 watt by two. So it's a 20 watt speaker designed by DOS in Shenzhen, China. So without further ado, let me just power it on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It does make that uh, noise when I initially power it on, and now it's just paired to my iPhone. That second note that it made was pairing. Now I am currently paired to Soundbox Pro. A couple of things. If you hold down the mode button, you can change colors. So that's white, which comes off very blue. Hold down mode, change the color. You get a green and back to blue. You only get four colors that you can manually set it to. However, there is a mode that you can get into that allows it to cycle through more colors you can get extra colors, which is the multicolor party light. Weird thing to me is that you can only manually set it to those four colors, green, blue, red, white, which is like a teal or back to green again. But if you put it into the multicolor mode, you get red, green, blue, yellow, teal, white, and purple. So an extra bass turns the speaker light off, or if you press and hold it again, it'll turn it on. How do you get into the party mode? It has to be playing music. So let's get on to some music here. So it's gonna use some Google Play Music. It's gonna search for royalty free, royalty free music radio. I have no idea what this is gonna be like, but we'll try it. So there is a party mode here where it syncs to the music, although it's pretty, it's kind of a dumb pulse. It doesn't actually sync to the music. It just pulses a little bit. Then we can have it solid. To get it to do the automatically changing of colors, it's just one of the modes. You hold down the mode button. So here you'll be able to see it do its different colors. There's the yellow. See this yellow you can't get normally. Red. Or then if you hold down the extra bass button, that gets it to do the pulse. On or off, pulsing and changing colors. Or solid. Okay, so that was some pretty bad music. Also, not to the to the type of quality that the speaker can put out. But um, I just wanted to show you what the what some of the colors were like. <clears throat> so 
Let's, uh, there's also an extra bass as well. So if you press and hold, or if you just press it once, then you get your extra bass on or off. Um, so it does have a passive woofer in the center as well as it lets the, uh, the venting of the bass at the back. As for connectivity, under this rubber dongle, you do get your micro USB charge, which is the uh, two amp charge. You do get a micro SD card slot as well. So you can play music from an SD card or you can play music from a eighth inch aux jack. Pretty cool speaker with the light. Well, the next thing that's pretty cool is that I actually have another one of them. So we're gonna try the stereo pairing and see what that's like. But you thought you got away from the unboxing experience? Nope, you're still gonna get an unboxing. We're just gonna do it a little bit later in the video. Show you what you get inside the box. Something I found interesting immediately when I unboxed the first one is besides the book, this <laughs> this is molded to their brand, which someone actually paid to design that and injection mold that. So that's funny that that was created. And then inside the box, you get the speaker itself and you get a USB charge cord. But you also get a uh, eighth inch to eighth inch audio jack, stereo audio. Let's get into the second one. This one is the dark blue. So this one is the gray and here's the dark blue. Now the actual lighted ring around here is still is white or grayish color, but everything else is the same. Neato. Because I want to get you guys some stereo. When we look at the book, uh, probably just power this on. How to get, how getting connected, charging, turning on, where stereo pairing. How to stereo pair. First turn on the speaker and press and hold the add button for three seconds. Okay, so we're gonna hit the add button for three seconds. One, two, okay. And then turn on the second speaker. And press and hold the add button for three seconds. It says it's looking. Says they're looking for each other. There, now they're just paired. Left, right. And they both synced color, which is pretty cool. And I believe this one's pulsing because it's indicating that it was playing music or that this is the main paired one. Now, if I want to change the color, they, they sync changing color, which is super cool. That is neat. Let's find some good music that uh, is some nice stereo effect. This is a YouTube stereo demo, so we'll, uh, we'll give this a try. I am recording this in stereo. Audio Fidelity Records presents a new stereophonic sound spectacular. The world of stereo is filled with spectacular sound surprises. I was saying stereo is full of surprises. In an instant, stereo can magically transport you to the concert hall. Awesome. Synced audio, which is great. Or to a bowling alley. And also get the charge level of the Bluetooth speaker on the iOS display. Or to a jazz band ball. Here's a vocalist we all know. I went down to St. James in February. Saw my baby there. 
Stereophonic reproduction offers us the most natural and satisfying way of listening to recorded sound. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stereo going on. Wow. They sound pretty good. It's hard for this camera to pick it up, but they do sound quite good. Now, the last thing I want to try, since we've checked that it does have audio sync via iOS, I want to see, does it have audio sync via Android? So let me do that. I will probably have to unpair it with this one. I'm just going to turn off Bluetooth. Scan for sourcing. Soundbox Pro. Pairing. Okay, and now we'll see, do we have a battery? Now we also, in Android, we have a battery indicator. We'll continue where we left off. Dancing ice gum, 60 minutes of fresh breath, makes those break room moments with new height. Oh, no, looks like it's independent. It's independent audio with Android. Because Here's something interesting about the stereo pairing. If you turn one of them off, one of them stays on. But if you turn this one off, if I turn this one on, it will try and look for a connection, but this one doesn't have the memory of what was paired. But now if I turn this one on, this one should pair with the phone right there. And then it'll remember that it was in a stereo pair and it'll automatically turn the stereo on. There, it just went. So now this is, it remembers that it was in a stereo pair. So that is pretty neat. I like that. I like that a lot, that it remembers that they were stereo paired to each other. Now there is a way to fix that if they do get out of sync. There is a way to fix the, the stereo pairing. Just press and hold the add button and it'll repair. If one of them are turned off without re disconnecting the stereo, it will reconnect automatically. I like that quite a bit. So yeah, here's how to set up your stereo. There's how you plug in the aux. It does have the micro SD card. And here's some of the other modes and functions. Okay guys, so that's the DOS Soundbox Pro. If you're looking for Bluetooth speakers where you can have stereo in a room, have one on each side of the room, and then have them pair automatically, certainly take a look at these. These cost around $70 Canadian each, so you're looking at $140 for the pair. There might be sales. It'll be cheaper in US, UK, it's also available. They sell them on Amazon, so Amazon.ca, Amazon.com, and I'll put links below. So, alright guys, so if you enjoyed this or you learned something, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Stereophonic reproduction offers us the most natural and satisfying way of listening to recorded sound. Thank <laughs> you.